Hello everyone, how are you? Have you ever wondered where all those old buildings come from? Today we are going to learn about them with Matias. Let's get started. Yeah, kids, we are going to study ancient history in Spain. Iberians and Celts, Greeks, Phoenicians, Carthaginians, and Romans. Iberians and Celts. Iberians lived in the east and southeast of the Iberian Peninsula. They were farmers, craft workers, and warriors. They lived in big fortified villages with stone streets and rectangular houses. Celts lived in the north and center of the Iberian Peninsula. They farmed, kept animals, and made iron and bronze objects. They lived in walled towns called forts in rural areas and in roundhouses. The Iberians had their own writing system and money. They traded with other Mediterranean civilizations and they needed to note down what they bought or sold. The Phoenicians developed the first version of the alphabet that we use today. Isn't it incredible? Greeks. They came from the Balkan Peninsula and started colonizing the Iberian Peninsula 2,500 years ago. They founded colonies in the east, such as Emporian, Ampurias, or Rhodes, Rosas. They traded pottery, wine, and olive oil. Phoenicians. They colonized the south of the Iberian Peninsula 2,600 years ago. They founded trading colonies such as Kadir, Kadir, Malaga, Malaga and Sexy, al -Muñeca. They traded gold and silver jewelry and valuable goods. Their most important legacy was the alphabet. Carthaginians. They came from Carthage in North Africa about 2,300 years ago. They founded Cartago Nova, Cartagena and Ebusus, Ibiza. They were mainly warriors and traders. Romans. They invaded the Iberian Peninsula in 218 before Christ and called it Hispania. They defeated the Celts in 19 before Christ and divided Hispania into provinces. This is a Roman city where you can see the circus, baths, forum, the aqueduct, the temple, and many other buildings. Wow, Matthias, that was so incredible! That's the reason why we have so many things from Romans and some other civilizations. Thank you, Matthias. Bye-bye.